My name is Heidi. I'm a technical sales director of UV Space here in San Jose, California. I want to spend the next few minutes to talk to you about our new DDC architecture. DDC is the Disaggregated Distributed Architecture. First, I'd like to spend a few minutes to uh, tell you a little bit about our company. UV Space is a hardware firmware design company based in Taiwan. And we have been doing this for 15 years of doing both ODM and OEM design for both telco and also enterprise uh, data center. So what exactly is DDC? So what we are showing here is the following. A DC, DDC functionally acts just like a chassis based switching system. We have broken down this into different components. The brain of the system is the network cloud controller. Usually it's an x86 server that not found talks to a orchestrator, which use a RESTful API. From the southbound traffic, it will talk to a fabric and also the line card with some intelligent cabling system, what we call the AEC, to break up the entire disaggregated distributed architecture. Okay, so why do we care? Let me talk to you a little bit about the benefit of the DDC versus the traditional. I like to break it down into two categories of benefit. One is the business benefit and the other two is the technical benefit. Because DDC has taken advantage of some of the more advanced virgin silicon that is available in the market, as a result, this allows us to lower the capex of the development and DDC basically is based on open source architecture. So that as a result can also reduce the RPEX. On the technical side, the DDC allow us to utilize what is available already in the market. This is a grow pay as you go model, meaning that we can start with something very small and scale it up horizontally. Let's drill in to the different component of the DDC. So we are looking at the three main components of the switching. The, on the top, we have the fabric, which is based on the Broadcom Ramon chipset, which is also known as the fabric element. They are responsible for doing all the cell switching to connect to all the line card. The line card comes with two favors. One is the 100 gate, and the other one is the 400 gate. They both are based on the Jericho chipset, with the OP2 external memory, which they are used for ACL and very large routing table content adjustable caching. All these devices has passed the NAPS level three certification compliance along with the TV76200 compliance specified by at and We support the IEEE 1588 version two transparent clock these devices, they are designed to operate with industry temperature from zero degree to 45 degrees Celsius. From a scalability perspective, this is the most compelling reason why DDC has caught a lot of attention in the industry. As I mentioned before, this design is a pay-as-you-go model. So in a nutshell, they can scale from a standalone with support switching capacity of four terabytes all the way to 192 terabyte switching capacity. So as you are starting your design in the central office or in your core data center, you can start with something like a small cluster, which make up with one fabric and up to four line card, that can give you up to 16 terabit of uh, switching capacity. As your traffic grow, your business grow, we can scale this horizontally by number one, adding the number of fabric on the top and then eventually that will support more line card on the bottom. Eventually, we can scale this all the way to 192 terabit if necessary.